Hello everyone, welcome to another Foxtech tutorial. This time we talk about a problem which is repeatedly occurring on your iPad when you use Safari. And this is like a broad term, it could mean multiple different things, but I'm going to show you the general guidelines or the framework of things you can do to fix common Safari problems, especially when they occur repeatedly. So the very first option what you can do is simply to reset the data, which is part of your Safari. And you can do that easily by opening up the settings, going to the Safari section, and if you scroll down a bit more, you can see the button which says clear history and website data. When you tap on it, you can clear all things like history, cookies, and browsing data. So your iPad is free of the past the data or whatever is what's going on with your iPad back in the day. So this is like the first step. You can always just reset it like this and this is going to be good. Now, the next thing uh, which could go wrong is something going on with the internet connection because for Safari to work, you need to be connected to internet, obviously. And for that, you need to make sure that you, of course, have a stable Wi-Fi or cellular connection if you have this type of iPad. But also, if you have any problems with your internet connection, what you can do is to always reset the network settings. And you can do it all again in the settings going to the general section and if you scroll down all the way to the bottom you can see transfer or the reset ipad when you tap on the reset tap on reset button once again and you can see reset all network settings so network settings basically refers to bluetooth connections wi-fi connections and even cellular if you have the ipad which supports it but resetting network settings like clears it. it it should serve for more stable connection but you should also keep in mind that this will make your ipad's wi-fi password forgotten so you technically have a new thing like your connection should be more stable but at the end of the day you have to like reconnect to the old wi-fi network so it's a bit of a hassle but i don't think it's such a big deal by the way guys if you want to know everything about your iphone apps you have to click the link down below in the description it's a hundred percent free education platform where i publish like video editing courses there is going to be the all apps explained course which is coming up it's going to explain every single app on your iphone it's going to be really cool so go ahead and check out that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now so yeah go ahead and do that in case you feel like some things are happening with the internet problem now, this is going to be a bit more specific, but there are some websites which use JavaScript and some websites use it, some websites don't. But if you go to the Safari settings in this section right here, tap on advanced all the way to the bottom and you can see JavaScript is enabled. So you can try to disable it, come back to the website and see if it works. Or if you have it turned off and you have noticed that you cannot get to some websites properly, just make sure that JavaScript is enabled. For some people, this may actually solve the problem because you can always just turn it on try the same website again to see if anything has changed now the next thing what you could do is to test the website if it's actually site specific or if it has to do something with your iPad because let me give you an example you open up a page like apple.com and you notice that it just doesn't work I mean if it's a smaller website or something not as big as an Apple well, in that case, it can happen that that website has some problems with their server or with the general way the, the app is running. So in this case, what you can do is to see if the problem is on your side or on their side. If it's something like this, you can always just test it out to type into Google is Apple down or is apple.com working. You can always just Google it to see if something is going on if other people are reporting the outages as well because you can see right here apple system status all services are working normally so every single thing works whether it comes to like siri or icloud nodes mail reminders whatever that is everything is supposed to work fine so yeah this is just for apple but you can always just google is some other website down whether it's Dropbox or anything, just Google it if other people also report some problems and perhaps the problem is on their side.
Another thing what you could do in case you actually use it is to disable VPN. In case you use VPN, there is like a middle part in between you connecting to the internet. That's the whole point of it. But in case you want to see if anything changes without it, just disable VPN in your settings or uninstall the VPN app and try to see if anything works differently with the VPN disabled. So that would be like a quick tip. And also, at the end of the day, when you believe that you have some problems with Safari, definitely fire up the App Store and look up some kind of web browser. So whether you just decide to go with the Google Chrome instead or Dolphin, whatever that is, you just make sure to try the very same website that you happen to have problems with from a different web browser to see where the problem is. So that's like always a good solution to perform. Like you can always just see if the problem is on your side inside of Safari or on the website with the internet. Just try to see where exactly the problem lies. And also, if you want to update Safari, you need to update the entire entire iPad OS. So go to the settings, general software update, and make sure to install the latest iPad OS that is available. So there is the iPad OS 16.7, but in the meantime, iPad OS 17 has been available, so I would recommend you to update to the latest and greatest, which is currently available. And this is going to update your Safari by extension. So make sure to perform that and see if anything changes. So that would be about it. These were all the things which you can do in case you have some repeated problems with Safari on your iPad. Hope the video has helped you out. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on it. Subscribe down below so you don't miss future videos similar to this one. And I will catch you in the next tutorial. Peace out, guys.